Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Devotions. Hope everybody's doing good today. Under this, this is my like, it's like a coat kind of. In between a coat and a shirt, you know, I've been wearing it because it's cold in here in the morning. But I got my Batman shirt on. Mommy and Kimberly's Adventures sent me that one time and they sent me a Star Wars one that I wear too. I still appreciate it. <laughs> It's a gift that keeps giving, because I'll have them, I take care of my shirts, I try to make them last a long time. My pen. Okay, on our prayer list this morning, Brenda's husband Nick's having scans done, or he had scans done past Friday to see if a chemo and radiation, what, what they've done to the cancer. And... Freedom, Marion's daughter tested positive for the virus. Pray she will be okay. Uh, Elaine's sister's daughter has a kidney stone and will be okay. Nina's son was exposed to the virus and has been put in quarantine. And Nina's son's two co-workers have been diagnosed with the virus. Kathy Smith's father-in-law is back in the hospital. He had a mini stroke, also testing him for the virus, and his dementia has taken over as well. Sarah Lewis needs prayer for Jacob and Miracle, their children. Uh, they're having flashbacks from the tornado from last Sunday and are afraid of the dark now. And I, that would be terrible. Uh, Four-year-old Grayson passed away from his injuries. Remember, Danielle and Mickey Meadows, uh, the father and mother. Robin Thompson had a heart attack. Uh, she had to get a heart cath and is facing possible surgery. Uh, then I got an update on Robin. She had no blockage, so she won't have surgery. Pray for a speedy recovery. Amen. Libby's husband, Glenn, is in the hospital with pneumonia and severe heart issues. Libby, Sarah, and the rest of the family are very upset and need prayer, too. Neil Smith's son, Drake, was run over while riding his bike. He is seriously injured. Pray for his recovery. That's it. I hate to hear that. And they say... Uh, the man or whoever that hit him kept going like a hundred feet before he stopped. It's terrible. They had a picture. It was on Facebook. They had a picture of that little, little boy. It looks bad. Got, you know, road rash all over his face and stuff. Okay. Our, our Bible uh, verses today come from Psalm 42, 1 through 5. As a deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. <clears throat> my soul thirsts for God, for the living God. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Having this trouble every morning. Congestion. When can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night. While people say to me all day long, where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I used to go to the house of God under the protection of the mighty one with shouts of joy and praise among the festive throng. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Amen. Okay, I'll get a drink of coffee. Um, the uh, devotion today is entitled The Singing Revolution. What does it take to ignite a revolution? Guns, bombs, guerrilla warfare? In late 1980s Estonia, it took songs. After the people had lived under the burden of Sodian, Soviet occupation for decades, a movement began with the singing of a series of patriotic songs. 
These songs birthed the singing revolution, which played a key role in restoring Estonian independence in 1991. This was a nonviolent revolution that overthrew a very violent occupation, says a website describing the movement. But singing had always been a major unifying force for Estonians while they endured 50 years of Soviet rule. Music can also play a significant part in helping us through our own hard times. I wonder if it's why we so readily identify with the Psalms. It was in a dark night of the soul that the psalmist sang. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him my Savior and my God. It was in a season of deep disillusionment that Asaph, the worship leader, reminded himself, surely God is good to Israel, to those who are pure in heart. In our own challenging times, we may join the psalmist with a singing revolution for our hearts. Such a revolution overwhelms a personal tyranny of despair and confusion with faith-fueled confidence in God's great love and faithfulness. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to pray today for everybody on the prayer list. Please help them with all their different problems. And I want to pray for anybody that's been affected by the coronavirus. And please, <clears throat> let's, let's have this thing just go away. Just go away. Please help everybody that's been affected by it, Lord, and anybody else out there that needs help for any other reason. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. Hope you all enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Uh, everybody have a great day. It's a wonderful Monday. Uh, it's dreary out right now. I, 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 can't, I don't have the curtains pulled all the way back, but... It's, it's dreary. I don't know if they're calling for rain. Uh, it was cold again overnight. So uh, I'll wait and see what happens if I walk or not. And other than that, I'll come up with something today. So I look forward to seeing you all later on. Thanks for watching so much. God bless.